first thing we do is take the old tip off. Get yourself an X-Acto knife. Clean up all the leftover little bits of leather. You won't get all of it. Just make sure that you don't cut into the ferrule. Just take the old leather off and the old glue. And now we're going to use a a rapid Q-top sander and file down the ferrule and make sure that it's flat. Make sure that it's not too tight because you don't want to leave dents or imprints in the cue itself. And a few slight turns. You want to make sure what size tip you need. You can use a tip gauge, or you can have somebody at your local store tell you what size tip you need. From what we can see here, we need a 13. And I have my 13 ready. And we have to file the bottom of the tip to make sure that it's flat. So that we have good contact between two pieces. Make sure it turns white, then you know that the tip is flat. Glue. We use Loctite Super Glue, which is a gel glue. It's an instant glue. You have to be very quick with it, or else it will dry on you. So all we need is just a little tiny dab of glue, not too much. We'll work the glue around on the tip and we have to be quick to get it centered because it dries really fast. Now we are going to file down the edges and we're using a grinder but you can use the X-Acto knife to cut it down or any other uh, tip cutting tools. <laughs> light Brillo pad to clean up the edges. Clean it up. Now that that's clean, we're going to reseal the wood and burnish the edges of the tip so that it doesn't create any mushrooming. Since we are using a soft tip, and now we're going to use piece of leather to burnish the edges and that seals the leather. Once that's done, all we have to do is give it a quick file. You need to make sure that the leather is rough or else the top won't stick. Q-tip within five minutes.